The fact you're watching this uh, video suggests you're either a new enterprise uh, wanting to create a strong brand or an established organisation wanting to revitalise an existing brand. And again, uh, you might simply be wanting to rejuvenate your corporate image. Either way, I promise to give you the lowdown in simple language. No smoke or mirrors. There's, there's a popular belief, completely unfounded, that the idea of branding an organisation or its products all began in the wild west of America with, with the branding of cattle. Ranchers burning an identity mark onto the cattle's flanks. That's a pity. Uh, because the story confuses symbols with what marketing people mean by brands. The brand is more than just a logo. For marketers, branding is all about perception. The perceptions that people have about a company or its products. That might sound highfalutin, um, but let's just consider a couple of examples. Over the years, in blind tests, where, where subjects do not know the brand of the product that they're testing, Pepsi has outperformed Coke. When people don't know the name of the product, they choose Pepsi. Then, when they get home, they buy Coke. That's the strength of branding. In another test, researchers at the University of California uh, gave distilled water to students. Those who were told that it was distilled water, when asked to describe its taste, said it had none. Those who were told that it was tap water, water from the faucet, they said it tasted of chlorine. Perception. Based on a well-nurtured customer perception, Good branding liberates companies from the tyranny of features and functions comparisons. It uses the power of emotion. After all, most buying decisions are instinctively emotional, becoming rationalised after the event. Uh, and this can be just as true for business buying decisions as it can be for fast-moving consumer goods. Brands have values. In 2004, Forbes magazine pointed out that a significant element of the difference between book value and market value is brand value, and it can be measured in billions of dollars. This is what a previous CEO of Coca-Cola once had to say. <clears throat> All our factories and facilities could burn down tomorrow and you'd hardly touch the value of the company. All of that lies in the goodwill of our brand and the collective knowledge within the company. A lot of work uh, has been done by the accounting profession uh, in establishing methodologies uh, for putting a value to a brand ranging from uh, cost-based valuation through market-based valuation to income-based uh, valuation, complete with uh, scorecards and, and dashboards and all those sort of things. To give an indication of the value that can be put on a brand, Forbes estimated the Nike brand to be worth $19 billion and Harley-Davidson's uh, at more than $15 billion. So whatever happened to a rose by any name? 